Hey, well, if you know me, you know I love me some Apple shortcuts. But have you ever thought about what if I could create a shortcut that would collect data and export it to an Apple numbers sheet, much like Excel or a Google worksheet? Can you do it? You bet you can. So let's go ahead and jump into that and see what we got to do to get that working. Let me go ahead and minimize my screen here. And as you can see, I've already created an Apple sheet or a number sheet, excuse me. So I've already created a numbers sheet. Notice here I've already named it. Collect customer info on the green tab. I've labeled it customer info. And in the table, I've labeled that data collected. That will come in useful as we build out the shortcut. That being said, let's close out the number sheet for right now and let's jump into shortcuts and build this out. As usual, go ahead and open up your shortcuts app. I'll go ahead and bring mine to my home screen folder, which is where I do all of my builds I like to share. I'm going to go ahead and begin by tapping on the plus icon up here. And the very first thing I need to do at the top where it says new shortcut, click on the little arrow and let's rename this to, let's go ahead and name this to collect customer info and hit enter. That locks that in. So let's go ahead and build this rascal out and I'll show you how it works. So first things first, let's go ahead and add in an element which is ask for. So in the search box, type in ask, and then choose the very first one right there where it says ask for input. Now, where it says ask for text, we're only that text as it is, but under prompt. This is where you can begin naming things that will make sense to you. Right there where it says prompt, click into that field, and I'm gonna type in, please provide me the customer's name and you'll see how this works after it's all done. Okay, I'll go ahead and hit enter, lock that in. See how it kind of highlights blue right there. And I've got several things as far as data that I want to click. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue on here again. Again, in the search box, I'll type in ask, and I'll choose the ask for input again. The, see where it says text, we'll leave that alone. But in the prompt, let's click into the prompt. And I'm going to type in how much time did you spend on this project? And hit enter. See how that highlights blue? Locks it in. And I'm going to keep building this out. So go ahead and speed this video up there because you won't want to you know, watch me add all these in. Okay, now that I got all the fields in there that I wanted to collect specific data based on the question it'll ask me. Now it's time we begin compiling that data so we can properly get it set up to export it to the number sheet that you had seen earlier. So what do I need to put in there next? Let's go ahead and type in the search box, combine. I'm gonna choose the combined text now, notice there where it says provided input. I'm going to go ahead and clear that out. We'll clear that variable and we'll click into it again. And notice there at the bottom, you should see where it says set variable and make sure it's viewable to you. And it is. So we'll go ahead and set variable. And we're going to do this one by one. So I'll choose that little blue link right below that first box where it says, please provide me with the customer's name. I'll click on where it says provided input. Now, but I have more that I want to add to this combination. So out to the right there, see the little plus button, click on that. Again, select variable. And underneath how much time did you spend on this project? I'm gonna click where it says provided input. And these will all pretty much be the same all the way down. So you get all the ones in there that you know you'd created questions for so next one provide me with the details of the work completed i'll go ahead and click on provided input and again we've got more to add set to variable 
What is your rate for this? I'll go ahead and choose provided input. And the last one. Again, select variable. And what was the date the work was completed? And I'll click on provided input. Now, now that that's done, see right there to the right where it says with, and it says new lines, click on that new lines and choose spaces. Perfect. Now we got that all done. Only one more item left here to get this fully working. And that is we need to configure how we want it to export to the sheet. So in the search box, type in add. And right there, see where it popped up? Where it says add row to top or bottom of the table. Click on the little plus icon. Now, this by nature pulls in a little bit of information. We're going to work in reverse on this one. Out to the right where it says combine text next to the yellow icon. Click on that and we're going to clear the variable. Now, notice how it says now number spreadsheet. So when you click on that again, it's going to allow me to go in there and choose the numbers sheet that I'd already created. So I'll go ahead and choose that one. Notice how that highlights it in blue. Now, let's go into where it says sheet name, right? So click on that and then let's go out here and grab the sheet name. So the sheet name, okay, is the green tab where it says customer info. So go ahead and in sheet name, type in there. And it's important that you type it in exactly as you named it, capital letters and all, okay? So let's go ahead and click in where it says table name. And let's go back over here to the sheet. Now the table name is right there. See where it says data collected? That's my table name. So go ahead and choose table name and type it in there. And again, notice it's important that you get it spelled correctly because if you don't, when you run it, it's going to give an error. All right, hit enter once you get it in there. Now, Moving to the left there, see where it says to the bottom, click on bottom, and I prefer to have mine added to the top each time a new entry is created, so click top, boom, got that. Now, all I have to do is add all these variables into this one as well, just like we did in the combined box above. So where it says values, click on that, select variable, let's go clear to the top here, one by one. So I'll start with the provided input right below where it says, please provide me with the customer's name. And I'm going to do these for all the fields, okay? So I'll go ahead and get that done. And, and of course, you just hit the plus button, hit select variable. So it'll light that up until you get all the ones in there that you need. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and refresh my shortcut here. All right, there we go. So we've got everything to highlight blue now. Let's go ahead and test this out. Easiest way to do it while you got your shortcuts app open is to click on the little play icon at the very top there out to the right of your shortcut name. So click on that. Let's see some dialog boxes pop up here. Obviously, the first question is, please provide me with the customer's name. I'll just use my own. And click done. And as for the time, so let's put 2.5 in representation of 2.5 hours. And what I do, I created a new video to show how to set up a custom shortcut to collect data and store to a numbers sheet. Done. Now, obviously, I've done this myself, so there is no rate. But just so you can see how that would work, let's say I want to put 150. And then today's date, because that's the date I actually have created this. So February 29th, 24, click done. And notice here, right at the very top in my worksheet, it already shows my name, the hours worked, what I'd done, my hourly rate, and the date. Now I went ahead after this, because by default, the very top when you create your sheet, like where it says customer name, hours, work, job details. That's obviously not going to be there, so you'd have to choose those and name them based on the field you set up. 
So it really is that simple. I mean, you can make this as detailed and collect whatever kind of data you need to export to a number sheet. And this would come in handy because then you could begin isolating, you know, customers by name or even going into the field where it says hourly rate and running a sum calculation based on a per customer. So if you was having to put that to an invoicing system, whatever, you'd have all that data right there to look at. Hopefully that helps you out. Thanks for stopping by and have a blessed day.